What is good, guys? We are back with Daymare. Hey, you just like on my big game. Oh, pop him. Yeah, like I'm gonna know that. I want to. No. Let me just like the big games. Dear valued customer, thank you for first yes. Some stuff I don't care about. Do you need a pipe in your head? I'm more than a dog. It's total chaos. The hospital has become a deadly hill. Later in, one wrong turn and you find yourself on the receiving end of a dozen monsters. Yeah. Yeah, government. Yeah, this guy. This guy. Every zombie movie, basically. You know, it is your help. Um. Oh. Shots in your ass. Get up. Bang. Bang. Sam here. Can you hear me, Doc? I'm in room 10. Mr. Walker, what a pleasure to hear from you. Glad to know that you're still a fine specimen of good health. I can't imagine what you went through was easy. But the next step should be much easier. What am I supposed to do exactly? I don't see anything. Not to worry, Mr. Walker. You're in the right place. Although you can't see it, there's a special door in that room. Now approach the wall directly across from you with your DID. Whoa. That's right. As you can see, thanks to that extraordinary device on your arm, you can access hidden rooms. Yeah, I'm not really... Filled with the most highly classified materials. Now let's move on, shall we? In that room, around there somewhere, is the body of one of my men. A cleaner, who decided to make a... unilateral decision. What you must do is cut his right wrist and... retrieve a small microchip implanted beneath the epidermis. A clean and simple procedure, wouldn't you agree? Now what the f*** else has to happen? Hidden doors? Implants with damn chips? Mr. Walker, I want you to listen very carefully. There are many forces at play which, unlike myself, you just aren't privy to. All you must do is do exactly as you're told, no matter how unsettling nor utterly unpleasant it may seem. Now hurry up and bring me that chip. Over and out. Okay, so... Front of you, dog. Oh, satisfactory work, Mr. Walker. Well played. I wasn't quite sure you'd make it. Yeah, thanks for the vote of confidence. Now let me in. No. No, 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 no. Hang on a minute. Oh. Indeed, you've proven yourself somewhat trustworthy. But more so, 
reliable. I simply can't waste such a talent. I have another task for you. What the fuck, man? Listen, I ain't parading around your hospital risking my damn life chopping corpses for you. I see. But didn't you say you came here to collect something from my latest patient? Now that doesn't leave you much of a choice, does it? So let's cut the chatter and get back to the task at hand. First you do something for me, then I do something for you. Doc, I hope for your sake that son of a really in there. Cause if he ain't, and you're riding me like a donkey, I'm gonna tear you a new one. As tempting as that sounds, I'm afraid you'll just have to trust me, Mr. Walker. Let me assure you, however, that I am a man of my word. <laughs> so what in the f should I do this time? I want you to take this key. You can use it to access the lower levels of the building. There you'll find a door that looks surprisingly similar to the one your device unlocked. By now you should have a clear idea how it works. Once inside, I'll explain the rest by radio. Have a nice walk, Mr. Walker. <laughs> um, Doctor from Walking or er, Zombie movies and stuff in games or whatever, they always eat or er, evil ones. Like always. Like they, they always are. It doesn't matter really. I had to make sure I was in the frame. But they always are, dude. It doesn't matter. Doc, I'm here. It looks like an archive of some sort. Precisely, Mr. Walker. Keep the chatter to a minimum, though. This time you won't have to... Sh Contagious disease, strike this, that, this, that, yeah, it strikes all country. This isn't worth reading, it's just a newspaper just telling you like what's popping off. Just park your tush in that chair by the PC and initiate the archive self-destruction sequence. The process should be rather simplistic. That is all. Again, if they give me a skin bone, why am I not going to use it? Yeah, spit on me. It was an imagination and it, 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 it happened. Okay, so imagination or not. Ooh, I just want to get back to my dock, bro. No loot? Okay. <laughs> the doctor better give me some loot. I expect to get in the loot. Usually when you win boss battles, you get the loot right then and there. Hey, Doc! I'm out here! Now let me in! Oh my! 
Hi, Mr. Walker. Welcome back. You have indeed proven yourself reliable. I must admit, I couldn't have done it better myself. Listen, man. I almost died covering up the shit you people have got hidden in here. The shit you're a part of, Doc. I thought your job was to save lives, not destroy them. Do not presume to lecture me, Mr. Walker. I will not be scolded by the likes of you at a time like this. It boils down to business, money, and power. All of which the company has more of than you can begin to fathom. But I'm still useful to them. They'll come for me eventually. They'll come for me because I too am reliable. And that is exactly why you and I have one last task to complete. Off oh, you, man! Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Well, huh, I can't get fooled again. I'm done! Just shut it and listen. An acquaintance of mine, Dr. Kimball, went missing and out of radio contact while carrying out an important job. He did, however, re-establish the signal just a few minutes ago. From what little I gathered, we've only got a few minutes to save his life. And who better than reliable you to rush to his aid, hmm? Complete this one final task for me, and I will gladly throw open this door and invite you two inside. Let me reassure you, Mr. Walker, that I am a man of my word. Doc, it's me. Sorry, but your colleague didn't make it. I found him, but was too late to- Mr. Walker, don't dwell on useless chatter. Just check the status of the computer equipment in the room. Did Dr. Kimball complete his work? The screen for the terminal display- What? Listen, Doc. I am done playing your f***ing dirty little games. All I've been doing this whole time is implicating myself in whatever the hell crimes you've committed here by erasing evidence. I do not take kindly to being blackmailed by weirdo f in puffy white coats, and I ain't your damn puppet! My role as your accomplice in this up horror tale ends now! I'm heading your way, Doc, and when I get there, you'll do well to give me exactly what I risk my ass for in this godforsaken labyrinth! No, oh, that's great. I want it. But if I have to... Don't come any closer. No! No! Ah! Doc? Dr. Atherton, what's wrong? Answer me! Sad what happened. I don't know why he had to do that. Oh, another elevator. Oh. Who is this? Can't be happening. Not again. Fourteenth August, ninety eight. As all of my written requests have gone unanswered. I'm making an official complaint in the form of this voice memorandum to the Hexaclub supervisor in charge of the AI-8 quadrant. We are in desperate need of more staff. An appalling number of OBE are being diverted here and what is killing me. What the hell happened? I'm still alive. HQ. 
is Raymond. You copy? Over. Code 11. I say again, Code 11. This is emergency. One disastrous move away from oh. checkmate. Damn that lead. An unexpected oh, hand reached out. A forgotten player would make their triumphant return to the game. I just hope the major is still alive. He is a he did. way to contact him. If y'all enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to get notified of my daily uploads and um we'll see y'all next time.